Hello, guys. How are you today? I'm fine. And yeah. you? I'm doing good, you know. It's Tuesday. Yay! You know, it's not Monday anymore. <laughs> ya pasó el lunes. Sí, es martes ahora. Así <laughs> va. Okay. Yeah, so here we go, guys. It's it's uh the second day of the week. So we're starting with all the power, as the people say, you know, that's what it is, right? So, um, all right. So thank you guys for joining. Thank you guys for joining once again. I really appreciate your, uh, you know, your joining on the class today. It's pretty good. I know it's hard sometimes because you work, you do this, you do the other thing, you know? And so uh, I know, but... You know, just I just want you to know that if you just uh give an extra effort on this, it will definitely be good for you, right? So that's that's for sure. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay, guys. So, uh, do you guys have like any question before we start or anything you guys want to say? Any comment or anything? No, just gonna be. No. Sí, tal vez. Preguntas, comentarios. No. Ningún. No. Okay. No problem. No problem. That's pretty good, actually. Okay. Uh, let me just give me just a minute here. I'm just working on something. All right. So here we go. Okay, guys. So, what do you remember about yesterday's class? What do you remember about the class of yesterday? What do you remember about it? Mm -hmm. Yes? Do you remember something? Recuerdan algo de ayer? Do you remember? Um, yes, yes, and not questions. Mm -hmm. Yes, and no uh, questions. With what? With the bear, what? With the bear? Verb to be. To be. Mm -hmm. Can you give me an example, please? Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Are you from El Salvador? Are you from El Salvador? Thank you, guys. Uh -huh. and También se puede, se, se puede decir, do you have a doctor? A doctor? Eh, no. Do you have a doctor or are you a doctor? Uh, are you a doctor? Uh -huh. ah, okay, okay. Yeah, are you a doctor? Yeah, porque ahorita estamos usando el verbo to be. Después íbamos a usar do. Mm -hmm. Do, que es ah. otro. otro okay. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's something else. Uh -huh. But yeah, you have to say like, are you a doctor? You know, something like that. And then you say yes or no, you know, and that's the way it goes, right? So, yeah, that's basically what it is. Yeah, that's what we were talking about yesterday, you know, the just no questions. Um, we have a uh, we have affirmative statements, negative statements with the verb to be, and we also have what we call the sorry, just no questions, right? Now you guys have to remember uh what is it uh, that we are talking about on the just no questions. Now before we continue. Guys, do you have a question about any of these practices? Did you complete them? Pudieron completarlas? Did you complete the practices? Yes, teacher. Yes. Do you have any question? Tienen alguna pregunta, alguna duda? Hable ahora. O cache para siempre. No, mentiras. Este, ajá, pero si tienen alguna duda, ajá. Por el momento. Preguntarla. Mm -hmm. No? Yes? No questions? Hey, no, si it's fine. Ok, va. Si tienen preguntas en cualquier momento, háganlas. No, no tengan pena. Ok, de verdad. Don't be afraid. ¿Sí? Por eso, yeah, eh, hola, hola, eh. teacher. Ah. Hola, Claudia. ¿Sí la escuchamos? Sí, el... el... Vale. el inconveniente que yo tuve con esta... Fue el hecho de que este 
cuando estaba utilizando el teclado en la compu, para mí yo estaban correctas las respuestas y todo, pero me lo daba error. Pero lo que no me había pasado bien era este, que yo les estaba poniendo los tildes. Y hasta después que, que era por, por el signo. Es por el, la, la, la comita que lleva en medio. Apóstrofe. Este, ah, pues por eso. Pero ya después sí me lo, me lo dio bien todo. Ajá. Y sí, eso fue lo que me dio batalla ahora todo el día prácticamente. Era eso que no... Ok. Ya, ya. Es que tuve. It's, it's the apostrophe. That's, that's what they call That's what we call it. And that's very important. Thank you. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you for sharing that. Y por eso eh, les digo, eh, miren, um, siempre que van trabajando en las prácticas y todo, traten de ver, traten de ver el material, por ejemplo, las partes del, del grammar focus. Eso es bien importante porque ahí está todo explicado. So that's where you have to, you know, like, check everything, right? So that's what it is. So thank you for your comment, uh, Claudia. So Floricio, please tell me. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Este, mi consulta es, eh, eh, si no mal entendí ayer, era que esto es el examen. No, this is practice. Knowledge semana. check. Ah. Uh, no, this is, no this es... is practice. Mm -hmm. el, lo de los exámenes. El examen va a ser otro. Sí. Ahí, oh, ya yeah. hay que alguien está anotando. <ríe> este, me está manchando la pizarra, ¿qué pasa? <ríe> me está manchando la pantalla. <ríe> ok, <ríe> vaya, este, cuidado ahí. <ríe> vaya, este, no, uh, vean, entonces, es este, midterm. This is the, this is the exam, the midterm. Ok, this is where you're going to click it. Eso está under the section three. You click it, and then this is everything that you have to complete. This, 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 this. If we have time, I'm going to help you on uh, to check it out, okay? We will see, okay? We will see how we can do that, all right? So that's pretty much what it is, right? Um. Okay. So, um. yeah, okay. that's what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bueno, right. gracias. You're very welcome. Thank you for asking, by the way. Okay, let's see. Any other question, guys? Any other question? No, yes, could it be? No? No more questions? Alguien, um, alguna que han tenido por acá que dice, teacher, mire, yo este no leí, dígame cómo es, please help me. No? Yes, could it be? No, it's good. It's good. All right. Awesome. Okay, guys. So I'm going to take advantage of the time and I'm going to start, uh, you know, taking the attendance. So I'm going to call your names right now. Okay. So uh, Abigail Elizabeth. Thank you. Alejandro Antonio. Okay. Um, Anderson Jeremy. Present. Mm -hmm. Blanca Stephanie. I am your teacher. Thank you. Uh, Briseida Lisbeth. Okay, then we go with uh, Camila Lisbeth. Lisette. Present. Okay, Carlos Aníbal. Present, teacher. Um, Carl, um, Cecia Gemima. Claudia Maricela. Presente. Ah, sí. eh, Cristian Daniel. I'm here. Elsie Gabriela. Emilio Isaac. Estela Elizabeth. 
Estela Marisol. Present. Fernando José. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Um, Floricia Menjivar. I'm here, teacher. Glenda Guadalupe. Hazel Marcela. I'm here. Thank you. Ingrid Esmeralda. Present. Iris Milena. Present. Eh, Jaime Alexander. Okay. Eh, Jaime Iván. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Juana Isabela. Isabel, sorry. Present teacher. Thank you. And then we go with uh, Karina Chamilet. I'm here. Thank you. Okay. Carla Joana. I'm here, teacher. Um, Carla Marcela. I'm here, teacher. Kevin Joel. Okay. Grisia Dorila. Okay, and last one. I'm here. Okay. I'm going to mute it. Thank you. That's it. All right, cool. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you for helping me, uh, you know, with the attendance. Thank you. I appreciate uh, your helping me with this. This is pretty cool. So thank you so much. Okay, so uh okay, just just um to finish this up. For example, right here it uh it says in the conversation three, it says uh, Selena and Carlos from Mexico. What what is it that we have to write here? What do you think? Uh-huh. Yo teacher. Uh-huh, animal. Me. <laughs> uh, is Selena in in Carlo from Mexico? Okay, okay. Yes, we have to write a bird to be. Just the right write a bird to be. But in this case, we're talking about two people, Selena and Carlos. So it's they are. So it's they, right? So it's they, aha, uh -huh. they, but, okay, si decimos, Selena, or Selena y Carlos, son dos, entonces son ellos. Ahora bien, como, ¿qué forma el verbo to be va con ellos? What form would the verb to be goes with they? Uh, could be our Selena and Carlos from Mexico? Yes, yes, okay, that's what it can be. You know, our... Selena and Carlos from Mexico. Okay, and now I want you to know this. Okay, for example, um, this is something that we're going to be talking about, but even before that, I just want to show you this here. Okay, our, my God, this is stupid, crazy. I hate that. Okay, our Selena and Carlos from Mexico. <coughs> Okay. Now, this is what I want you to know. Okay. Selena and Carlos are two people. Son dos personas. Entonces, ahí estamos hablando de they. Ahora bien, si nosotros tuviéramos un ratito de estar hablando, por ejemplo, con... Voy a decir, estoy hablando con Carla Marcela ahorita y le digo... Mire, Carla, eh, estamos hablando de Carlos y Selena que están por allá. Si ya los he mencionado antes, yo bien podría decirle um, a Carla, ¿Are they from Mexico? De una vez, ¿Ven? ¿Are they from Mexico? ¿Por qué? Porque estamos hablando de ellos, entonces ella sabe que con they yo me estoy refiriendo a ellos dos. She knows that with they I'm referring to those two. Pero si yo de una le llego a Fernando y le digo, hey, Fernando, are they from Mexico? ¿Quiénes me van a decir, Fernando? No me van a entender, ¿vas? ¿De qué está hablando? 
Entonces, por eso es que a veces ustedes van a ver que van a poner los nombres o algunas veces van a sustituir los nombres por el pronoun de una vez. So, entonces ahí es donde tenemos que prestar atención. We have to pay attention to what. Um, to what is it that they are asking us for, okay? To the subject. Así que ahí por eso nosotros tenemos que prestar atención al subject, right? So, so it's like, uh-huh, uh, are Zelina and Carlos from Mexico? And what's right here? No, what? Mm -hmm. No, they're not. No, they are not. No, they are not. They're contractado, right? They're not. Mm -hmm. No, they're not. Mm -hmm. And right here, da -da -da -da, Brazil? They're not. There. Uh-huh. Then you can say they're from Brazil. Mm -hmm. And then there is a question right here. Facil. ¿Qué forma el verbo to be va con you? What form of the verb to be goes with you? Are you from Brazil too? Right. Are you from Brazil too? And then it says no. No. No what? Oh, I'm not. No, I'm not. Exactly. ¿Por qué? Porque me están preguntando a mí si yo soy de Brasil, un ejemplo. Are you from Brazil? No, I'm not. Y aquí también la respuesta nos da, mire, I'm from Peru. Okay. And it says, so, da -da -da -da, first language is Spanish. Is your first language Spanish? Yes. And we have to say is porque nos estamos refiriendo al first language, a lenguaje, and that is a thing. So, is your first language Spanish? And then it says, yes. Yes, it, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Right? And then you hit it, and boom, you got it. We're good with this, okay? So, this one's we didn't complete it today, but it's okay. All right? So, that's what it is. Questions about that, guys? Any question? No? No question, teacher. Awesome. Pretty good. Okay. okay, so we are going to continue right here, guys. And what we have for this objective for tonight, uh, for today class, is that by the end of this class, you will become familiar with the syllable stress. Okay? El syllable stress, eh, no es, como les decía el grupo, no es que la sílaba esté estresada. No, no es eso. Okay? Es la mayor fuerza de voz, Okay? Syllable stress, no le va la fuerza de voz. Está más relacionado con la, how we pronounce the things, okay? So that's what it is. It's not really the accent, but it's kind of, it's related. Así que no piensen que están estresadas las sílabas, okay? So there we go. So now I'm going to play this audio and I need you to listen and watch the video, okay? So um, here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn a few rules on how to... Can you listen to that? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes. 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 yes, yes. Let's go. Stress syllables. And we will learn how these rules are essential in order to convey our meaning. There are two very simple rules about word stress. <laughs> Number one, one word has only one stress. One word cannot have two stresses. If you hear two stresses, you heard two words. Two stresses cannot be one word. It is true that there can be a secondary stress in some words, but a secondary stress is much smaller than the main primary stress and is only used in long words. Number two, we can only stress vowels, not consonants. In this class, we will focus on stressing numbers and in future classes, we will dig into more advanced uses of this topic. Let's take a look at the following numbers and their pronunciation. Notice the stress syllables. 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, 60. If you hear all the numbers starting at 13, we will stress the second syllable and 
similar numbers such as 30, you'll, have, you'll stress the first syllable. This is the reason why whenever you hear a number, you may not be clear on whether the person is talking about 15 or 50. Now it's your turn to practice pronunciation. I would like for you to practice repeating these numbers and their pronunciation and record yourself on bookru.com. After that, you need to share the link of the recording in our discussion forums. Okay, so that's what it is, guys. Now, there are a couple of things that I want to uh, want to talk about right here. So, Six. right here, for example, we do have uh, the stress, again, as he said, it's just on the vowels. It's not going to be on the consonants, okay? But it will be on the vowels, right? That's what it is. Now, I want you to notice something, and there are some numbers that, ends, for example, the numbers uh, from 11 to 19, I will say a few of them, they end in teen, right? And what is it? Uh, what are you talking about, teacher? Okay, I'll tell you what I'm talking about. So for example, right here, and let me show you. Let me show you right here, right here. Okay. Sorry, it's here. Okay, now this one is like teen, you know, teen, teen. And so you can understand better what I'm trying to say. I'm going to show you something. For example, uh, we have 14. Now, 14 is made of two things, actually. You know how to say cuatro in English, right? How is cuatro in English? Four right? So then it's like you join. Es como decir uh, four teen. Entonces estamos uniendo las dos. Miren. Four teen. Ahora, 15 changes a little bit. Lo que yo quiero que vean es que la mayoría de estos números, algunos terminan en teen. Miren. Teen, teen, 16, 17, 18, 19. Ok, esto primero les voy a dar con la pronunciation y segundo con la escritura. So, ¿cómo se dice seis en inglés? Por ejemplo, six, right? Six. Y después le agregamos teen. Y ahora es 16. Six, teen. Seven, teen. Eight, teen. Nine, teen. Okay? And that is where these numbers have the stress on it. It says teen, 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 teen. Right? That is where, we ha where it has the stress. Now, um, that's something that I want you to focus on and something that I would like you to pay attention to. But then we have a different thing, you know. For example, the stress, it can be sometimes uh, um, right here like we are seeing. 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 6, 16. Now, I know I'm exaggerating the sound and the stress. Yo sé que estoy exagerando un poquito de, para, para que me entiendan, pero es como decir 13, 14, 15, 16. Right? And then we got 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay? Now, pay attention. This 30, it sounds, it actually sounds like this T, esta T, it sounds like, I'm going to make it a little bigger. Okay. This T sounds like R, 30, 40. But this ones, pero acá en 50, just suena como T, 50. Como, I'm sorry, like, yeah, like T. And then 60, right? And that's basically, and we're going to talk about that. Y ya vamos a hablar de eso, okay? But for now, for now, lo que me interesa ahorita es que veamos el stress de las palabras. So, 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, 60. Okay? So, do I have any volunteer to read the, the words? Volunteers? Mm -hmm. Okay, Fernando, do me a favor. Please go ahead and read the 
uh, the words right here and the stress? Thirteen. Thirteen. Fourteen. Forty. Fifteen. Fifty. Sixteen. Eight. Sixty. Sixty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Anibal. Thank you so much. Okay. Now, Fernando, you go. Your turn. Okay. Uh, 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, and 16, and 60. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Now let's go with uh, Chrissia. Help us, please. 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, 60. All right. Good job. Thank you so much. Anyone else? Any other volunteer? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cecia, Hemima, help us, please. The microphone. Your microphone. There you go. Vamos, si usted puede. Let's go. <ríe> ok. Sí, no, no lo escuchamos. No sé si tendrá conectado algunos audífonos y probablemente por eso no lo escuchemos. Sí, a veces también Teams se configuran otros dispositivos como los speakers. It could be if it is connected like that. O el Windows. No. Hable, no sé si, a ver si lo escuchamos. Hello, hello. No. Ok. Bueno, trate de, de revisar su audio y después, si quiere, intentamos. One more time. So, uh, let's go with uh, Lázaro, please help us. Uh, 13, uh, 30, 40, 15, 50. 1660. Okay, thank you so much. Uh huh. Anyone else? Any other volunteer? Uh, Floricia, do you want to help us? Okay, and then we we'll go with Carla. Okay. 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, 60. Okay, good job. Carla, help us, please. Carla Marcela. 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, 60. Okay. Iris, help us, please. 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, 60. Good job. All right. Thank you, guys. Okay. Now, there are a couple of things that we need to uh, check on, guys. And... What it is is um is like 13. So it was gonna come 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 10. Like 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 if you're smiling, see como está All right, 13, 14, 15, 16, right? That's what it is. Now, something else that you have to keep in mind is uh, this right here about, uh, now, 30, as I said, it sounds like an R. This T sounds like an R. 30, 40, 50, 60, okay? So 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, 60, right? That's what it is. Okay. Now, I want you to know something, and it's about the numbers. This about the numbers is actually a pretty simple. So it's just 
about joining. Uh, joining numbers, one to 10, for example, we already know. Yo, ya todos nos sabemos los números del 1 al 10, right? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So, y después están acá, del 11 al 20. Al uh, 19, sorry. Y es lo que yo les venía diciendo. Esto, si ustedes se fijan, todos terminan en tin, 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 tin. Right? Except these two, right? 11 and 12. But the thing is this. This is what I want to say. Ya no sabemos los números del 1 al 10, por lo menos. Uh, bueno, el 1 al 20, un ejemplo. Solo vamos a, y ya sabemos cómo decir 20, que 20 es en, en inglés, es 20. Y digamos que ya no sabemos los números de 10 en 10 hasta el 100. Entonces ya sabemos contar hasta el 100. Porque vean, es bien fácil. Solo vamos a ir uniendo. Unimos el 20 con el 1. ¿Cómo sería? En, en español sería 20 y 1. Y en inglés sería 20, 1. 20, 2. Entonces después para decir 23, unimos el 20 y el 3. Y sería 20, 3. 20, 4. 20, 5, 26, 27, 28, 29. Ojo, no me van a decir 20, 10. Ahí no, ¿ok? Después del 29 que sigue. Ajá, uh, 30, right? So, y volvemos otra vez. 30, 1, 30, 2, 30, 3, 30, 4, 30, 5, 30, 6, 37, 38, 39. 3010, no, 40, right? Okay, so 40, y así, and that's the way we're going to go, okay? Now, I'm going to explain something to you about the numbers right here, about uh, 100 and all that, but, pero antes de que pasemos a eso, les voy a, before we um, go to that, um, before we go to that, I'm going to play this video right here for you. And this is the next objective that we have, okay? What it is is that, in this class, you will become familiar with the numbers from one to one of three and talk about your age and ages and relatives and friends, okay? So that's what we're gonna do right now. So let me play the audio for you. And it's a video actually. So um, I need you to listen and watch the video, okay? Hi everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with- Can you hear that? Yes. 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 Thank you. Yes. Let's go. The numbers from 11 to 103. And talk about your age and the age of relatives and friends. Let's start by listening to a quick conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow. He's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh. How old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's very smart, too. And who's that? My sister, Tammy. She's only 12. Now, let's practice expressing the numbers. Listen and repeat. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 101, 102, 103. Now is your turn to practice and record yourself on the website, bookaroo.com. After you record yourself, you will need to share the link on our discussion forums. Okay, 
So that's what I was telling you guys. So if you could listen, it was, uh, you know, you could listen to the stress right there. But that's what I want to say to you right here. Okay. So again, so then it's pretty simple actually to form the numbers. Okay. So basically, uh, we just need to work on that, like saying, uh, like joining, for example, if I want to say, um, 55 in English, how can I say that? Mm -hmm. Entonces, unimos el 50, que te 50, y ahora, a ver, como se dice 5 en inglés, recordemos, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, ok, 5, ok, so it's 50, 5, ok, y así nos vamos a ir yendo, después seguimos, 55, 56, 57, 50, and that's the way you're going to keep going. That's basically the way that you're going to keep going. And that's basically it, you know. Um, don't really have to do like, like anything else, I will say. But then, guys, we go to 100. Okay. 100 is 100. Okay. En otras palabras, si nosotros decimos 100, es como decir 100. Entonces, y si ponemos un 100, claro, nosotros no decimos un 100, decimos... 100, right? Pero es like 100. Y después 100. Y si quiero decir 200, entonces, ¿cómo sería? Two hundred. Yes, Aníbal, yes. 200. Y como ya no sabemos los números, ¿verdad? Del, del 1 al... 90, entonces ya podemos llegar hasta 1000, ¿cierto? <ríe> entonces va, pero aún no en orden, ok. Entonces, ¿cómo sería 800 en inglés? ¿Cómo sería 800? 800. 800. ¿Ves? Y tú solo vas 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, and you keep going. After 900, you will learn something else. Pero antes de que lleguemos ahí, por ejemplo, tenemos ahí 100. Si quiero decir 101, 100 and 1. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué? Uh, puede decir 100 and 1 o puede decir 100, 1. ¿Ok? Then you can say, 202, 102, 103. Y si quiero decir 110, how can I say that in English? Mm -hmm. um, probably 110. Yes, yes. Y si quiero decir 120? 120. 120. Entonces, llegamos al 100 y volvemos a comenzar la cadenita. ¿Ok? Primero, ¿ok? ¿Cómo se dice 100 en inglés? Ok, se dice 100. Si me dicen, ¿cómo se dice 125 en inglés? Ahí yo entonces voy a ver. ¿Cómo se dice 100 primero? Ah, se dice 100. ¿Y 25? ¿Qué tengo que hacer? Ah, 25 se dice 25. Entonces, 125. And that's the way you go. That's basically the way you go. Okay, and then, y si quiero decir 999, how can I say that? Mm -hmm. 999. Yes, 999. O sea, y podemos irnos poquito a poquito, pasito a pasito. ¿eh? Un ejemplo. ¿Cómo es, entonces, este, un ejemplo? ¿Cómo es entonces que voy a, a hacer ese número? Ok, bueno, entonces, ¿cómo se dice 900 primero? Digamos, si nos está costando un poquito. Ok, entonces voy por pasos. 900 se dice 900. Ok, vaya, tengo lo primero. ¿Y cómo se dice 99? Entonces voy, acá tengo 90, 90. Y entonces me acuerdo cómo se dice 9 y 1 al 90 con el 9. Sería 99. Entonces sería 9. 199, right? And you keep going. Y después sigue 1,000. 
eh, que thousand es mil, right? Claro, eso no lo vamos a ver ahorita, y, pero we're, you're going to see it in the future. Eh, one thousand. Y si queremos decir dos mil, ¿cómo sería? Two thousand. Two thousand. Two thousand. Si quiero decir cinco mil. Five thousand. Five thousand. Y se sigue, se sigue. Es una, es una cadenita, es como un rompecabezas de ir armando. Los números are easy. De hecho, los números son más o menos fáciles, ¿ok? All we have to do is practice, ¿ok? That's what we have to do. Ok, questions about this? I have a question. Tell me. Uh, it's correct say uh, the two way or four in, in this case in 100, for example, uh, 101. Uh, after a uh, hundred is necessary say one. I mean, it's like uh, informal. Mm. Or... Not really. You can just both. You can say one hundred one or you can say one hundred and one. Both ways are okay and they are not really informal. So they are good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So, any other question, guys? No more questions? No, teacher. Cool. Okay, if you guys don't have any more questions, we will just practice a little bit right here our reading ability with this. Uh, you know, with this conversation. So uh, if you want to practice your um, reading ability, you can just raise your virtual hand and we will just practice this part right here, okay? You can raise your virtual hand and we will practice. We are going to read the conversation. Uh -huh. Any volunteers? Okay, I'm going to ask Fernando. Fernando, you're going to be uh, Emma and Elsie. You are going to be a uh, Jill. Los demás tengan sus manitas levantadas, please. Mm -hmm. Can I start? Yes, please. Go ahead. Okay. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jean. Oh, how old is he? He is 21 years old. What he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's very smart too. And who's that? My sister, Tammy. She is only 12. She is the baby of the family. All right. Thank you so much. Now let's go with a... Grecia, Gemima, and Grecia. Gemima, can you talk now? A ver si le podemos escuchar ahora, Cecia. Hola, hola. Hello, hello. Ah, su micrófono está apagadito. It's turned off. Um, Emma? Wait, wait. Uh, wait a minute. Eh, Cecia, tiene la manita levantada, creo que quería participar, pero no sé si le podemos escuchar ahorita. Eh, ¿Puede tratar de activar el micrófono? ¿No? Sí. Ok. Bye. Uh, entonces, let's continue with Crisia and Jaime. So, Crisia, you are going to be uh, Emma and Jaime, you are going to be Jill. Okay, who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's he, his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, hello, is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? I but he's nice. Yes. He is uh, he's very smart too. And who was that? My sister Tammy. She's only twelve. 
She is the baby is the family. Okay, thank you so much. Now let's go with um Ingrid and Iris. Ingrid, you're going to be Emma and Iris, you're going to be Jill. Okay. Who, who's that? He's my brother. Whoa, he's good. What's his name? James, we call him Jim. Oh, 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 how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? I beat his name. Yes, he is, and she's very smart. And who is that? My sister Tammy, she is only 12. She's the baby of the family. Thank you so much. All right. I have time for one more. Um, I have time for one more couple. Any any other volunteers? No? No more? You have to check. Okay. Okay, Aníbal. Aníbal and Blanca. Stephanie. Aníbal and Blanca. Aníbal, you're going to be Emma and Blanca, you're going to be Jill. Who's He's my brother. Continue, Aníbal. Whoa, he's good. What's his name? Yes, Whoa. we were... Oh, oh. Okay, creo que estamos. Ay, se, se, se trabó Aníbal. <ríe> se trabó. Le, le estaba dando inter... le estaba el problema al internet. Uh... Yeah, all right. Okay. Let's see. Esperemos que regrese Aníbal. Eh, mientras tanto, vamos a pedirle a Lázaro. Okay. Ya, ya regresó. Ok, good. Ok. Ok. Let's start once again. Once again. Once again. Oh, how? Oli, she? He is my brother. What is like? I meet his name? Yes, we. We got in G. Um, what's that? He's 21 years old. I think we got lost there, guys. Um, um how is that? Okay, let's let's leave it like that. Thank you guys. Thank you for helping with that. I mean, we just don't really have much time to start it once again. But thank you. I appreciate that. Um okay, so uh now just there are a couple of things that we need to consider, guys, and you need to pay attention to a couple of things. Okay. For example, the pronunciation here is who's it's not who's mm -mm, it's who's who's that? Okay, then who's then we got wow. Tiene un signo de de interrogación, no, uh, exclamación, exclamation mark. So hay que hay que poner el feeling ahí, wow, wow. <laughs> like wow, right? He's cute. And it says, what's his name? James. We call call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's twenty one years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is, and he's very smart too. And who's that? My sister Tommy. She's only 12. She's the baby of the family. No family, but family. So when it comes to the pronunciation, pay attention with whose, whose, right? Then it's wow. We say call, call. 
bet, right? Bet. Then that's it. Family. That's the other word. Okay. Is there any new word for you right here? Alguna nueva palabra para ustedes aquí? Is there any new word for you? Sure. Tell me. And uh, I bet he's nice. He's like handsome. Mm. Eh, sí, como están hablando dos chera, vea, digamos que sí. <ríe> o sea, está como implícito ahí, va. Ajá. Pero es como decir, es como decir, apuesto que es buena onda. Así va. <ríe> Pero, ajá. So, I bet es como, yo apuesto, right? I bet. I bet he's nice. Uh -huh. So, I was, de hecho, hasta el tono de voz cambia, se escucharon en, en, el, en el video, en el audio. Es, I bet he's nice, le dice. <ríe> so, yeah, it could be. Uh, no significa Hanson exactamente, pero pues está entre líneas, ¿va? Yeah, in this case, yeah. Yeah, in this case, yeah. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Okay, any any other question? Thank you for that question. That was a nice question. Any other question, guys? Nope. Okay, now, there's one thing I want to say before we go, uh, before we finish the class. Now, this right here, it's what's he or she like. Esa, esa pregunta está haciéndonos, uh, nos está preguntando por una descripción de la persona. Ok. So, entonces, no lo vamos a ver todavía. Eso lo vamos a ver más adelante junto con los adjectives. Probably tomorrow. Pero just so you know, para que sepa un poquito. What's he like or what's she like. Es como decir, cómo es ella, cómo es él, right? Pero nos pide una descripción. Entonces ahí nosotros ya, nosotros ya podemos decir, he is tall and funny, okay? Alto y divertido, right? But the other question I have, pero la otra pregunta que tenemos ahí es, how old are you? Okay? Now, keep an eye on this. When you say, how old are you? You are going to use the verb to be. Vamos a usar el verbo to be para responder. How old are you? Oh, um... 20 years old, I'm 26 years old, I'm 30 years old, I'm 40 years old, I'm 100 years old. I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying, you know. So uh, that's what we're going to do, okay? So vamos a usar el verbo to be. Por ejemplo, aquí, how old are you? I'm 21 years old. I'm 21 years old. Pero, un ejemplo, yo le puedo preguntar ahorita, que sé yo, a Carla Joana le puedo preguntar, Carla, Joana, how old is Marco? Entonces, ojo, yo le estoy preguntando por Marco. Entonces, Joana me va a decir, Marco is... Tarara, tarara. O me va a decir, en este caso también puede omitir Marco y decirme he, porque ya sabemos que estamos hablando de quién, de Marco. So he can say, he is 21 years old. Pero si yo le pregunto, how old is Marco? O si a mí me preguntan, ¿cuántos años tiene Marco? Y yo les digo, yo, yo tengo 20 años. O sea, momento, ¿eh? no me están preguntando por mí, me están preguntando por Marco. ¿eh? Entonces, let's pay attention. Así que prestemos atención al subject. ¿Por quién nos están preguntando? Si nosotros prestamos atención a eso, no nos vamos a poder responder bien. So, vamos a hacer una pequeña práctica. So, we're going to do a little practice. So I'm going to ask Crisia, how old are you? Mm -hmm. I'm 31 years old. You're 31? You don't look like you're 30. That's cool. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised, you know. You look like probably 25 or something. But that's cool. All right. <laughs> All right. Now, you, Crisia, ask that question to one of your classmates, please. Okay. Blanca Stephanie, how old, how old are you? ¿Me puede repetir, por favor? How old are you, Blanca Stephanie? She is 20, 21 years old. Okay. Um, can you repeat that, please? Blanca, can you repeat the, uh, the answer again? She oh. is 21, 21 years old. 
Okay. Now, Crisia, can you ask the question? Can you repeat the question, please? Okay. Blanca Stephanie, how old are you? No, listen, Blanca, listen. How old are you? Mm -hmm. How old are you? Huh? So then you say? I uh, am. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I am 21 years old. No está mintiendo, eso no tiene 21 años, o sí tiene 21 años. I am 20. Ok, va, no me mienta, pues. Don't lie to me. No me mienta, se <laughs> Ok, so yeah, ok, good job. Ok, you see, that's what you have to do, ok? So now, you, Blanca, go ahead and ask a question to one of your classmates. Ahora, usted puede preguntarle por la edad del, de su compañero al que le va a preguntar, o le puede preguntar por la edad de algún otro de sus compañeros que están aquí. Ok. Si no, puede hacer esa. Mira, how old, are you? how old is Maria? How old is Hazel? I don't know. Anything you want. How old is Fernando José? I'm 19 years old. Okay. Now you, Fernando, go ahead and ask a question to somebody else. Can I ask you? Sure, why not? But okay. but then you will have to ask one one of your classmates as well. Okay. How old are you, teacher? Um, I'm pretty young actually. I'm I'm 26 <laughs> years old. I just I mean I would say I'm young, you know. Or I don't know. I probably I'm old, you know. But I've been working a lot, so ya se me perdió el colágeno, pero ajá. Este. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, that's what it is. I'm 26. I just turned 26 on May. Yeah. All right. So now go ahead, Fernando. Ask a question to one of your classmates. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, how old are you, Christian Daniel? I'm 25 years old. All right. Now, Christian, can you ask a question to somebody else, please? How old are you, Carla Martinez? I'm 22 years old. Uh -huh. Keep going, please. Ahora, pregúntele a uno de sus compañeros, pero no le pregunte por la edad de él, sino pregúntele por la edad de alguno de sus otros compañeros. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, oh. how old is... Da -da 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 -da, you know? uh -huh. uh, es que solo los mismos me salen acá arriba, que ya falsaron. Uh, preguntémosle a Ingrid, vaya. Uh, Ingrid, how old is Fernando José? He's um, 21 years old. It's a lie. <laughs> It's a lie. <laughs> okay. So, uh -huh. ajá. <laughs> okay, pero, pero me respondió, aunque nos mintió, pero nos respondió bien, vaya. <laughs> okay, so that's what it is, okay, guys? So that's what you have to do, guys, okay? So these are two questions that you have to keep in mind, okay? Like, how old are you? How old is Marco? How old is Lupita? Okay, y aquí podemos cambiarlo. Por ejemplo, si yo puedo, quiero preguntar por, por la edad de ella, pues ya pongo el, el, el nombre de ella. O si ya estamos hablando de ella, puedo poner she. How old is she? O how old is he, right? Sí, ya, ya si hay un antecedente, que ya estamos hablando de alguien. Porque si yo de una vez llego y le pregunto... Hey, 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 Christian, este, ¿cuántos años tiene él? No sé, Christian, ¿quién? ¿De quién? No estamos hablando de nadie, ¿va? Entonces, por eso, ahí, cuando es así, sí hay que, necesitamos el nombre, right? But sometimes, you can just use the pronoun. So, in those cases, you can omit it. But anyways, that's what it is, guys. Any question before I let you go today? Questions? No, yes, could it be? 
Bueno, si no hay preguntitas, chicos, solo ahí recordarles, trabajen en la plataforma, por favor. Sigan trabajando, hay que darle, hay que echarle ganas ahí. Si pueden avanzar mañana, vamos a ver las WH questions. And probably we will have time for the adjectives. So, that's what it is, guys. So, please work it out. And I will see you tomorrow, okay? Eh, acuérdense, work on the platform, trabajen en la plataforma, please, let's work it out. Okay, so any question, guys, before I let you go? No? No questions? Oh, no questions. Okay. So I'll see you tomorrow. You guys take care and enjoy the rest of your night. All right? Bye-bye, guys. Good take night. care. See you later. Bye-bye.